Bill, I would love to invest in real estate, but I don't want to do any of the work. Tough. <laughs> All investments require some kind of work, but here are some uh, options for you. Hi, right, so let's talk about real estate pros and cons. Well, the, the main benefit that we always get is the government gives you tax benefits if you own real estate. So the government is pushing you to buy real estate. You should try to take advantage of that. Real estate is a hard asset. What do I mean by that? Well, it's not the promise like in a stock market where it's the promise to make an income or the company that you're buying stock in promise to make an income. Uh, this is actually a hard asset like gold. The difference between gold and real estate though is you can't rent your gold out, but you certainly can with real estate. Real estate is also recession resistant. And you're saying, Bill, how can that happen? Uh, we all went through 2008 and we saw how the prices on homes dropped. That is true, but the house doesn't care what it's worth if it's producing an income. And what happened in 2008? Well, prices of homes were going down, rents were going up. So that's why it's a hedge against itself. So what are some of the cons? You need money to get started. You, know, you can see all these gurus that come up and say, buy real estate with no money down. It could happen. It's not very likely and you have to work really hard to do it. It could happen, but it's not likely. You need money to get started with. Um, it can be an active investment. So if you're looking for passive owning real estate, could for some people become a, another, you know, full-time job, depending on how we'll, we'll call micromanaging you are, <laughs> if that's your personality type. Uh, regulations, that's a big deal. During COVID, you notice the government said, hey, you folks don't have to pay rent and you landlords, too bad. You'll have to keep the brunt on yourself. That's not very nice. You're going to set yourself up for ridicule. We have learned over the years that Investing in the stock market is the way to go. If you're investing in real estate, just be prepared for have the naysayers say nay. Bill, I would love to invest in real estate, but I don't want to do any of the work. Tough. <laughs> All investments require some kind of work, but here are some uh, options for you. You can always invest in someone who is doing the work. So you invest alongside of them. Uh, you give them money, they do all the sweat equity. Again, you still have to do work because you need to be doing the due diligence on this particular investment. That, that way you set yourself up for failure if you're not doing some kind of work. Uh, you can be a lender. Instead of buying equity like you would working alongside of somebody, you could just do the loan on that project. Again, there's a little bit of work involved because you have to make sure that it's a good deal to lend on. And is the person that you're lending to uh, a reliable individual? Do they know what they're doing? All that kind of stuff. You still have a little bit of work involved. You can purchase existing notes. You still have to do a little work to figure out how to do that and do it successfully. But that is a, a, a very good way to buy an existing note that's performing already. And really all you're doing is setting up a servicing company to send you the payments. And lastly, you could invest in funds. Funds are going to be the most passive. There's no investment that's not going to require some work because you still have to do due diligence on these fund companies to make sure that uh, it fits within your expectations of returns and that it is a good investment for you. So there you go. Uh, I don't want to do the work. Too bad there's a little work involved in everything. <laughs>